Hi everyone, welcome back to Pharma Guideline. In today's video, we are exploring the science behind UV visible spectrophotometry, one of the most widely used techniques in pharmaceutical analysis. Whether you are studying pharmacy, working in a lab, or just curious about how this powerful tool works, this video will break it down for you in a simple, easy to understand way. Let's get started. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is UV visible spectrophotometry? UV visible spectrophotometry is an analytical technique used to measure how much light a chemical substance absorbs. Specifically, it deals with light in the ultraviolet range which is typically between 200 to 400 nanometers and the visible range which spans from 400 to 700 nanometers. Now, why does this matter in pharmaceuticals? Many pharmaceutical compounds, especially drugs and their impurities have the ability to absorb UV or visible light at specific wavelengths. By measuring how much light is absorbed at a certain wavelength, we can determine the concentration of a substance in a solution check its purity, or even identify it based on its unique absorption characteristics. Think of it like this, every molecule has a fingerprint, not just in its structure, but also in how it interacts with light. UVV spectrophotometry allows us to detect that fingerprint with precision. The instrument used, called a UVV spectrophotometer, shines light through a sample and measures the intensity of light before and after it passes through. The difference tells us how much of that light was absorbed and that absorption value is directly related to how much of the substance is present. In pharmaceutical quality control, UVV spectrophotometry is commonly used to check drug content in tablets and syrups. Monitor degradation products. Validate methods for routine analysis. Support stability testing of formulations. It is a non-destructive, fast, and cost-effective method which makes it highly reliable for day-to-day -day lab analysis. So in short, UVVIS spectrophotometry is like giving your sample a light-based checkup, helping scientists and analysts ensure that every drug meets the highest standards of quality, accuracy, and safety. A UVVIS spectrophotometer is a sophisticated yet easy to understand analytical instrument made up of several essential components. Let us break them down one by one. Light source Deuterium lamp is typically used for the ultraviolet region around 190 to 400 nanometers. It provides a stable and intense light source, making it suitable for UV measurements. Tungsten halogen lamp is used for the visible range, 400 to 700 nanometers. It emits a strong beam of visible light with good spectral output. Monochromator A monochromator uses optical components like prisms or diffraction gratings to separate light into its component wavelengths. A slit system then narrows down the light to a specific, selectable wavelength which is sent to the sample. This ensures that only one wavelength interacts with the sample, making absorbance measurements more precise and specific. Sample Holder The sample is placed in a covet, which is a small, transparent container typically made from quartz. The path length, usually 1 cm, is standardized so absorbance measurements can be compared and calculated using Beer Lambert law. The material and cleanliness of the covet are crucial. Dirty or scratched cubits can scatter light and affect results. Detector After the light passes through the sample, a photodiode or photomultiplier tube in the detector captures the remaining, transmitted, light. It then converts this light into an electrical signal, which is proportional to the intensity of light. The detector is essential for translating the amount of absorbed light into a readable digital value, usually absorbance. Signal Processor and Display System The electronic processor converts the electrical signal into numerical data, like absorbance or transmittance, and plots it against wavelength if needed. The display unit, often integrated with software, shows the final output, stores data, and may allow spectral scanning, peak analysis, or calibration. Without this component, 
we could not analyze or interpret the data we get from the sample, this is where science meets usability. Working principle of UV visible spectrophotometry. Now we know what it does, let's understand how it works. At the core of UV visible spectrophotometry is a principle called the Beer Lambert law. It states that the absorbance of light by a solution is directly proportional to the concentration and the path length of the light through the solution. The equation looks like this. Where A is absorbance. E is the molar absorptivity, A constant. C is concentration. L is the path length, usually in cm. As per the Beer-Lambert law, the greater the number of absorbing molecules, that have the ability to absorb light of a specific wavelength, the greater the extent of absorption of the radiation. The instrument has a light source which emits light that passes through a monochromator. This device selects a specific wavelength of light. The selected light then passes through the sample in a covet and finally reaches a detector. The detector compares the light intensity before and after it passes through the sample. The difference tells us how much light was absorbed and that absorbance value is used to calculate the concentration. Applications of Spectrophotometer in Pharmaceuticals In pharmaceutical labs, UV visible spectrophotometer is used everywhere from development to quality control. Used to determine the content uniformity. Measuring the drug content in tablets. Used in purity testing. Checking for impurities that absorb at specific wavelengths. Used in dissolution studies. Monitoring how fast a drug dissolves. Used in stability testing. Tracking degradation products over time. Used in method validation. Validating analytical methods as per ICH guidelines. Because it is non-destructive, simple and cost-effective, it is widely used in both R&D and quality control. Advantages and Limitations Advantages Quick and easy to use Requires small sample volume Good sensitivity for many organic compounds Limitations Only useful for compounds that absorb UV or visible light Can suffer from interference if samples aren't properly prepared Not selective like HPLC May need complementary methods That said when used correctly, UV visible spectrophotometry is a powerful tool for any pharmaceutical lab. So to recap, UV visible spectrophotometry measures how much light a substance absorbs in the UV and visible range. It's built on the Beer-Lambert law and is widely used in pharma for quality control, method validation and stability studies. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get regular updates. Join channel membership to access exclusive content like courses and member-specific videos.